In a bid to stop the imminent spread of the novel coronavirus pandemic in India, Prime Minister Narendra Modi ordered a nationwide 21-day lockdown starting March 25, 2020. This move brought the country of 1.3 billion people to a near halt with commercial establishments, places of worship, public transport, private companies, etc. remaining shut across the country. However, the world's largest lockdown has provided a temporary remedy to one of India's pressing issues, that is, suffocating pollution levels. As Indians practice social distancing and stay home, air pollution in parts of India has dropped to record lows. Data reveals that the main cities are recording much lower levels of harmful microscopic particulate matter known as PM2.5 and of nitrogen dioxide which is released by vehicles and power plants. PM2.5, which is smaller than 2.5 micrometers in diameter, is considered particularly dangerous as it can lodge deep into the lungs and pass into other organs and the bloodstream causing serious health risks. The sudden fall in pollutants and the subsequent blue skies signal a dramatic shift for India, which has 21 of the world's 30 most polluted cities according to the IQ Air Air Visuals 2019 World Air Quality Report. In the capital New Delhi, government data shows the average concentration of PM2.5 plunged by 71% in the space of a week falling from 91 microgram per cubic meter on March 20th to 26 microgram per cubic meter on March 27th. The World Health Organization considers anything about 25 to be unsafe. Also, nitrogen dioxide went from 52 per cubic meter to 15 per cubic meter in the same period. Mumbai, Chennai, Kolkata and Bengaluru have also recorded a fall in these air pollutants. The Janta curfew in India on March 22nd also resulted in the lowest one-day traffic pollution levels on record. Similar patterns showing drastic falls in pollution levels were also seen in parts of Europe and China since their lockdowns as industry and transport networks grind to a virtual halt. Sunil Dahiya, an analyst based in New Delhi for CREA, however said that this data is no reason to celebrate. He added, this is a really grave situation which the entire world is grappling with. Pollution is going down, but we cannot let the suffering of so many human beings be the way to clean the air. We can only use the outbreak of coronavirus as a learning lesson for us. In November 2019, air pollution in New Delhi hit record high levels, forcing schools to close and flights to be diverted. Other cities in North India also suffered. Four months later, the skies are now clearing up. But the impact of living in such badly polluted conditions has left a hidden problem for residents, a potential vulnerability to the coronavirus pandemic, that is, a severe respiratory disease. India has one of the highest rates of respiratory disease in the world and the world's highest number of tuberculosis cases. Such widespread lung damage could potentially increase the risks associated with the novel coronavirus. According to the World Health Organization, globally, deaths related to exposure to air pollution are of pandemic proportions, with 7 million deaths every year. Environmentals have said that the current scenario should be a wake-up call for India and the rest of the world to address this problem. Thank you for watching this report. Do share your views and thoughts in the comment box below.